All right, um, to start, I'm going to be creating a dashboard and a landing page just to show how it's done and to guide those who might be confused. So I'm going to be creating my frame. I'm going to be creating using this desktop frame. And um, I have, I'm going to create a little layout grid. So for me, I start with the euro section, then proceed to other sections. So um, for the euro section, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. Then I'll create a column grid. I'll make it 12. Then I want something like um, I want something like 120. I'll just use 104. 104. I'm counting. Uh, for like I'm using eight eight points to count say eight sixteen twenty four or something like that. And for year I'm going to write twenty four year. Yeah, so I think yeah, this is cool. Um yeah, this is fine. So next thing I do is I decide okay, so what do I want to do? How do I want to work? What exactly uh do I want to achieve? What kind of um what kind of landing page am I building? So uh, if I have a place where I have my resources, I go there, I check. But then I just want to create a landing page to sell. So I have this, let's say, this desktop app that I have designed previously, but I, I want to design a landing page for it. So what I do is I think of it and I say, um, okay, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? So I can grab this and um say copy this i can copy this as png so i can right click and say copy or copy as so i can copy as png so if i copy as png i can repaste it here control v yeah so this is it as png then i can resize it it's an image now so i can resize it and bring it here inside my design something like this then i would start aligning it something like this yeah, so I can have these, then I can have my text over here. So, uh, but first, before that, I'm just going to create my header. So, um, this is my frame. I think it has a logo. So, I'm just going to, let's say, pick the logo from here. I'll control C. I'm going to be pasting the logo, control V. So, the logo is here. But I can see the color, so I'm going to change the color here. Um, saying, fill color. Um, I think okay. So you should show me colors from the text. So just going to change here. This should be the main green. So that's the. I think he has a stroke too. Going to be making green something like that. Okay, so I will show you. Going to align that. And I can create others. Text. So, I'm going to be using this font in 16 prefaces. So, I'm just going to create one. Um, the TT interfaces. This is my plan. Make it medium. Yeah. Then, I'm going to auto with it. So, I can see all um, features. Pricing. Yeah, nice. pricing, and also maybe something like uh, account. Right now, so I have these three. I need to select them, then auto layout them. Simple, straightforward. I can set the spacing between the 24. Then, um, yeah, I see. So I have it here. I have it right here. And I can just create a button, maybe a button for this time. So, um, put the text of my button to be something like get started. So, I duplicate this, bring it out here, and I say get started. And by the way, to duplicate that part, all you need to do is just click on Alt. Um, you select what you want to select, click on Alt. Once you click on Alt, it's going to show you like two, um, two custom icons. So, that way, you know, okay, you can. Once you drag when it's showing that, you'll be able to um, 
say duplicate something very easy actually and then we get started it all in one so then i can make it bold make the font 16 and do shift a auto layout it then i'm going to use 32 yeah, the two one good signs. So you can see what I'm creating now. Or if I put a stroke, then you can actually see what I'm doing. So uh, it was like this before. Then I made it 32, just so that I can have a, a very um long button. Then for top and bottom, I can make it 16 to make it taller. This tall. Um, that may be too big. So now it is 52. The height is 52. But I don't want it to be that tall. So I can use something like 12. To get what I want. So 12 looks nice. Uh, I think 12 is a sweet spot. So I'm just going to leave it as 12. Then I'm going to remove the stroke now. Remove the stroke, add a few. Then uh, I'm going to be adding button. So I don't think. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a button for me. Yeah, then make this inside white. Yeah. Uh, the corners, I'm going to make it four. I see the corners has changed, so I've made it four. So now I have my button. And the text here, like I said, um, don't only use zero 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 zero. Can use something like um, can use something like maybe I'm going to use forty one. But I love forty one. Now this is soft. It's not too much and everything. So I can make this bold just to show that it is selected. I can make it bold and make change the color to green. It's mean green, yeah, so I can align everything, put it on out for the out, shift A. Uh, what I do essentially is, if, if, if you don't want to be adjusting things, what I just is uh, confuse it. So now it's not aligned, so I can drag this to this point. So you see that there's a red line, it clicks there. So I can leave it there. Um, then select the three and do auto layout. So that way it retains its uh, its position here. And this one also retains its position here. Then um, pricing, everything is at the same value. So now our header is good to go. So I can change the space to something like 24 from the top. Something like that. So um this, this this could actually be my let's say uh, this is the frame of the layout so i can just say M C A D D header so i know this is my header okay then now i can bring this in back this is the image so i can bring this back in something like this say um, So I can say something like um, I put my text, fit interfaces, so uh, change it to something like 40 pixels, and then start writing. So I write something like This is a different coordinator, it's something like uh, black, but I don't want to use black. So I can just pick the same green, it's something like this. And this 10 times, so I like it, I can use orange. 
that cannot be for yourself or in jail. I just use for instance like get your project done 10 times faster. Ah, I feel it is still small, so I can use like 64. Um, I have this now. Because now the is bring this in. Then I have this more text on it. So I can just put this more text on it. By the way, you don't use the red I use actual text. So I just change this to it. So if you have your font, if you have your font style, you will be using your font style, not selecting this just randomly like this. If I have a font star, I need to select font stars from here. So, but none that I get, I've not created any for this. So, I'm just going to you can see this layer here from here. So, but I'm just going to type, um, so, let your, 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 Could actually be more than this, so I'm just going to do just to wait. The test could be more than this. So, um, then I get my button, duplicate it, bring it back, bring it in some way. All right, so this is just going to be a very fast way just to show you things. So, um, my button looks very small here compared to this big text here. So, um, like I said before, I use something like 768. So I write 768 because that's like um we have different screen size. So I think the most common one is um let me just type it out here. We have something like uh, so we have something like one three eight six six by by um sorry by seven six seven six eight. Then we have um one six zero zero by nine hundred by nine hundred. Then we also have control Z. We also have something like uh, say nineteen twenty by ten eighty. So this is like HD. Uh, this like full HD. This like HD plus. This like HD. So um. Most people use this screen size, so that's why mostly I design for this screen size. But then sometimes you could actually go out of your way and do something crazy. So I'm just going to put this here, resize it a little bit more. Or um, maybe put this away like this. Yeah. So bring this down. Essentially, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to make this case at the bottom bigger. Uh, I want it to be taller, so make it 16. And then I make this place maybe like um, 14. Yeah, I just want my button to be bigger, so I change this text to 41. So it doesn't look too dark. Then I change my line height. I think when you were being taught this, somebody said, uh, some people use um. So I'm going to use percentage, so I'm just going to use this percentage, which is 1.8. Um, it's a golden ratio percentage, there's a way to calculate it. it. But then if you can, just, you can just use um, maybe 20, 40, 24, 25, 40, depends on where. So I'm just going to use the middle. Alright, so then I'm um, spacing. I don't want that to be too much space, and in a way, I feel this is a bit too big now. So I change it back to something like say 50 or 8. So this should be a sweet spot. Hmm. Alright, so I'll take this back here. Um, what's the distance between them? 20, I want it to be 16. Then I bought in. So, as 
can change the form the text system I'm going to try free uh, or download free or uh, uh, say sign up for free version anything you can write anything here so I can just type say spans free trial So this distance here is 16. And 16 is fine, but I can make it 8 so it doesn't look too far from each other. So 8, then I do auto layout. Then I click on this. What's this distance? 34. I move this down a little bit. What's the 8 is 40. Then I do auto layout. So 40 may be too much, so I can just change it here back to 32. That makes it smaller. So I can leave this thing like this. Then my this one I can. So what I want to do with this now is uh, now I can see that they are on the same spot. Um, I'm just going to want to align them center. So vertical alignment, I think that is shift V. So, so, so vertical alignment. So it gets to be a great place. Um, I can align this to the left if I show my grid. So it's like here. I can do this. Okay. And I can do this. But then, really, I don't know if I want to do that. So I can duplicate this, send one to the back, send this one to the back, say, um, send to the back. If you don't know the I see it way to go about it. Can do something like this. So I can have this, have it stand here, yeah, something like this. Uh, yeah, I think I like this. Then I can make them, I can put the drop shadow. So I use 0, 3, can take this to make like 25, just for this one alone. Then I make this 21. Then I make this, uh, say, 10. Yeah, it's very soft and noticeable. Then I can co copy it. Control C will help me to copy the style. So you can right click and say, um, no, not right click. You go here and you come here and say, it's and say copy properties. So when you copy the property, it just, if there's any other property here to copy it. But then for now, it is just the drop shadow that is here. So you copy the drop shadow for me. Then I can put the drop shadow here on this one to say Control or to V. You paste it here so if you zoom in um control z this is what it was before uh, i don't know if it's not simple but let me hide my so if i hide this this is how it was before this one this is what it was before the five on control v uh it paste it so i don't know if you can see it but it's there already so you can see it here see it's putting it here before uh if i hide it it's going to be blending see it's blending or if i enable it yeah, see, it's, 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 it
Yeah, this could be my um this could be my say euro section. It looks plain by the way, so I could uh, we want to add stuff. So uh, uh, I can actually also do I can group this together. Now I should group I use frame so control to G to frame it. So this is the frame. Then I can say what I want to do is I want to bring this down here. I want to bring this up here. I'm going to make it stay center line, get to project on 10 times faster. Um, my 10 times is my highlight because I know, yeah, it's really going to keep it with 10 times. I'm going to align with this center. So just play center, center, center. So my auto layout, I put it at the center. It was on the left before, so I just come to my auto layout settings and then just put it at the center. Then these ones, I change them from the um, from the text, from the text um, settings here. So I just put it center. I set this one to center. So I then set I just on the left before, so I put it on center. So everything gets to be at center now. So then I can just put it at the center very well. Say, So that's top alignment, this down alignment, left, right, vertical, center. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's at the center now. Now, I just been, I was trying to get the alignment shortcut. So, this is at the center. And, um, okay, so since this is at the center, I just put this also at the center. That's called, um, say it is. Yeah, so it is also a center, so I can just take this up a little. So this could be a part of my, um, this could also still be my euro section. So I could actually have these two euro sections. Uh, if it looks too clean, I could actually easily come, let me say, if I make this white, I can make this white. Uh, yeah, you see, now my drop shadow is not really showing that much, so we want to add more drop shadow. Enter, select the two. So if you click on an element and you press enter, it selects whatever is in that element. Then if you press shift enter, it selects the frame back. So if I click this frame now, I click enter, it selects everything inside the frame. So I can easily, since the two are selected, I can easily change um, their values here. So I'm just going to change this to 15. So the um, drop shadow shows more. So now should I increase the blur? Yeah, I think I'm just going to increase the blur because I'm just playing around. So something like this. Yeah, that's something like this. Then, uh, and we want this on the left. Instead of just on the right side, I can, I can make this one more. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, you may not really see the, um, the effect for the estate. So I'm gonna make this down here. Yeah, yeah. Fine. So it looks nice, clean. This place looks empty, this place looks empty, yeah. But then uh, if you check some maybe websites like um, the website that we used as your example, sometimes that's what they look like. Like this one now. So you have just like I have my two images, you can have your two images just the same way, something like this. Yeah. So it depends on how you want to go see start free trial, team trial, view pricing option. So it depends on what you want to do, how you want to go about your um, design. So, this is what we're going to do. I could actually try this. So, I could take this in, something like this. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to my grid. I'm going to bring this in. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take this. I'm going to frame this. Okay, so, I can move it into the side. Alright, so I like this already. Yeah, I'm just going to be moving on from here. So, uh, how I design my is um, I'm just going to create a new another frame. So, I'm going to do this first, first, just watch closely. So, I'm just going to create this, I'm just going to duplicate this, bring it down here. Uh, it's a new frame entirely. I'm going to delete this. Uh, I migrate so you can see what I'm doing. Then, I'm going to make the background white. Then, um, what else? What else? Okay, I don't want this here. Just going to delete this. So, it depends on what do I want to happen here. What do I want on this, my next page, my next screen? As I you say, take inspiration from websites I like. So, um, say, 
this is their page that shows um, customer story uh, see what they do a bit like features okay this and that feature yeah. so it depends on what you really want to achieve and they have this um, social yeah they have this social um, yeah they have that there and if you check another one uh, which should be similar most designs are similar so uh, just for you to arrange your design the way it's supposed to be so uh these have the same thing here trust this team use or us blah 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 so you can do this you can have the team that use your product have it there maybe about your product a little um well it's product management so depends on what you are doing this are product management um say website and um yeah you want to tell them about your uh you want to say your application what you are doing what it's for people it's for something like that like they have no check that online so what i'm just going to be doing is the same features so i'm just going to write i'm just going to write what set of stuff out. so i'm going to bring this out uh reduce it to something like 32 that is the last is not too small so 32 might be too small I'm just going to make it 40. say what sets apart and put that at the center that's all page okay so that's the center then um yeah let me make it for for the top or set us apart so these are my features so um, so what are the features since i have the product here i can easily just grab any feature i want uh maybe say something like this calendar manage your calendar something like this i can, I can uh, make this an image the copy as png again come back here and paste it this is the calendar so i can easily just take this calendar and say uh, reduce the size, pressing and holding shift. Then I can come here and, um, well, say, I want, I don't want this to just be plain here. So I can maybe create like circles. That's my, so I can just create circles. So I come here and create some tools. Nice to be, make it maybe 16 or something. All right, so let's say 16. All right, I need to control D to get it. Control D, control D. So you get control D, get. I can do it only on shift D. Then you get this, bring it down. You get the key, you get your duplicate, and like this. Then I can select everything and I do control D out it. So don't not really out on everything. Um, what I need to do now is I'm just going to change the color. I'm going to change the color to something like um light green so this light green could use this I'm going to put this and turn it to the back put this one like this and if you have the corner say it's two just like before so you can see that like 24 that's too much so let's say like 16. that's not saying it's too much to do so that i can make sure and then right so after that i put the effect and I want to draw shadow. Uh, I'm just going to put this as 21, just like before, 3, uh, say 25, and then this one, I'm going to do that. 15. Alright, so I have this here. I can leave this here, but I feel like this is too, um, the color here is too much. I don't want it. I just want this very soft color. So what I just do is I click on this and I say something and I put come to my color this is the dimension color here and i just click on i've changed this to hsl some of you like your text so come here change it to hsl and when you click on this last one this last one controls the top and bottom of it so you can move to the top move down then you can do it one by one so you like this much 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 more it depends on you 
and the guy is never one of those um, left and right. Left and right, left and right. So, and then you can move on. If they want to change, then it's a one for the two. So, if you remove this one, it just changes the color of that. You can change the color of the take you that color of that. So, I think it's only one for the two. Hmm. Right. So this is done, and what I want to change is this one. Like I make this light down and soft down. Something nice and clean, not too much. Yeah, this is that's too much. So this is nice. I like this. It's not too. It's not really showing too much. Um, it's not really too old. No, it's, it's not really making anything really. I'm changing it back to green. Yeah, I want this to be green. What's that as a part? This to be green. So, um, what I then do is I show my grid. Alright. I want to put a circle somewhere here. So I just bring a circle or something and do this. Um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, if I want, let's say I want a calendar feature now. Uh, I can duplicate this, say Ctrl D, and drag it away. Then I can mask it on top of this. So if I put this underneath, uh, if I put this here, put this here, I want it to show maybe the calendar, something, something, something like that. I select the tool, and I say mask. It marks, it marks it for me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do something like I'm just showing you different ways you could actually work with this. So you see, it's changing just this alone. So I want you to change the two. So I come here and select the two, the last two, and I press K and, and change and I scale with K. So I want it to be bold. I want it to highlight that I'm, I'm seeing what is here. So what I just do is I bring this out somewhere here. Alright, so I, I blow this whole place. So you may not really be able to see it, so I'm just going to turn off, turn this off. So now this is this, I have this here, see? Let me put a ring around this too. Oh, I do the stroke and show. If I select the image itself, I'll put a stroke around it. What I can do is this one. I don't really need to show the stroke. If I flat the image, I'll put it. Okay, that is all. So, bring down my clone. So, Alright, so what I'm just going to do is, since I have this here, I'm just going to put, let's say, a drop shadow. So, same thing, 3, 21, um, blur, let's put it at 25 or something. Yeah, so. Yeah, so like 25, uh, I feel this place is too dark. So I put 21, 25 is too much, let's leave at 15. 15 is nice. And um, increase the blow or something. So I can blow this all, say, and um, here's the time. Blow this, uh, say, no, uh, effect on this. I can add another effect, change it. Okay, so this is the new one, say, layer blow. So this is text blow, and I can put this on top of this, I say, oh. Yeah, zoom in out and you'll be able to see what's blood there. So I can increase the blow. Yeah, but I want it to show a little, so I don't want to blow it too much because it may affect some post times. So I'm just give it something like this. So, okay. so there are different ways you actually could show what you are working on, what, you, what your design is saying. So I can actually just do something like this. Uh, it looks a little bit weird though. But then, uh, you can actually just do something like this. If I increase the blow, I can just. Yeah. So, I can change it a bit too. And I can make it dark now. If I put an image on top of it, so. Um, let's do that. So, but then, uh, you can actually do it any way you want. If I enter and move this, say, delete this. Then remove the blue here, leave it as it was. Um, decide to put a circle in black. Something like this. 
Your elements can go be outside your grid though, because the element you could actually go outside the grid, but then um, sometimes you just have to put your elements in the grid. So what I do now is that um, say I'll put this as learn more and learn more. I don't want it to be a button. I don't want it to be a button, so I'm just going to look for a um, a say. Uh, font to a, an icon to use. So mostly I use um, Microsoft icon, Microsoft Friends icon. Probably more is still loading, or um, mostly I use Microsoft Friends icon because it makes uh, it makes me when I'm changing the icons, it makes it easy for me to use. So I'm just going to reload it down, then keep designing to it. Right, so I want to put the icon in here. I'm just going to add this. So I'm going to remove the fill, uh, the text color, change it to green. So it's still there. Then I'm going to make this zero. Everything around the clear zero. Let's say zero. Alright, so uh, something like this. Let me know. Get your project, this is too big, so let's make this say 32. Reduce it to the two something to make sure it's very um, 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 Much space here, so uh, this is 768. I can just remove 16 from it, minus 16. Just so, just wait, it's smaller. Uh, remove it again, so I'm not 16 because why not? So then, same, remove 16. Uh, I remove it 16 because I know that it's counting, um, it's counting 88888. Eight, 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 eight. So minus 16. Yes. Alright, so this is nice. So when this when it's downloading, okay, something loading. So when it's downloading, what I would do is um so what I would do is I would just put the icon there. And after putting the icon, it's going to just show. So let me see if I can get any icon from the design I have already. Any other icon. Mm. So there's this high right one here, I'm not sure if I like it. So I'm just going to say it to see. By the way, you can actually just get any high right one that you can and that works for you. It would be nice. And which one will you decide to go for? Alright, so I have my IO iPhone, I'm just going to put it here, control V, paste it, it's showing 40 is too much, or inside the frame. So all I'm going to do is just reduce it. Mm. Yeah, so I like this, I feel this is not too much. Alright, so I, I turn it to the right, so 90. Yeah, and I align this, then down. So this looks weird. I think I, this is taller than this. So what I'll just do is I'll just um I can reduce this to a little bit more. Say so, okay. Um, but it's still not scalable. So and that's because of the um it's not my fault, it's the fault of the icon. So whatever icon you use, just try to scale it to well. go. So I can just bring this down a little. Tricky myself. Yeah, so this is nice. I feel like maybe there's too much space. I could actually have an icon, maybe something like this. Let me just add something like this. Just for illustration purpose. Hmm.
Alright, so I'll send it to the back. Alright, change the color to the green. So I have my script icon now. And I can change this to the finished part of the name. Can you see as well? I'm fine. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so I have that. Then, um, what I do then is I just duplicate this. Yeah, so if you duplicate it here, you can just bring it back again. Um, remove the work that was apart. And this will be another feature. Then I can interchange this, all of this. So if I select all of these, say Ctrl Alt G, I can easily just interchange and switch, bring this in. So rearrange it. Something like this. Give this here. Um, so I keep doing that. Doing that, I keep doing that. Depends on as many features as I want to show, I can switch this back. So it depends on you, it depends on what you want to show, where you're trying to achieve. So I'll boil it down to what you can do, what you want to do. So something like this, then um just going to delete this. So I can duplicate this again and say something like that. So let's check, let me see. Down, down, down. And um, don't bother if you don't have any say product you can use here. You can actually just get your images from your uh, illustrations from anywhere. It's just for you to show that something is going on. So you can get your illustrations from something like maybe free pick or on draw anywhere. Free pick, free pick or on draw. So, uh, and, uh, yeah. so I'm going to create something like this next. I think we have three already. So we have three already. So I can never delete the beat. Then create maybe like a rectangle. A frame, actually. I'll uh, we'll create a frame here. So you can see my frame. Then I'll uh, put a stroke so that you all can see it. Alright, so this is my frame. I just want you to be able to see it. So inside my frame, I'm just going to create a text that says. Since I've been doing this for a while, um, I, the text can easily just come to my head, so I can easily know maybe this is what I want to say, something like that. Uh, so let's go to it here, change the field to white. Okay, let me not change white here, let me just finish what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go and carry my button again. Do my button that I'm saying, bring it back here. And do it here, say something like that. Okay, I don't want it to be plain at all. So, but let me just go on with what I want to do. So, what I wanted to do is I'm just going to put a fill, remove this two. My fill will be this color, maybe this color, and I'm going to just round the corners. Round this corner, something like this. Yeah, so something like this. Then um, we use dark water, wax pants, say orange again, red, wax pants. Okay, so something else is 
kids are asking me this day. It's my eyes. I'm not going to be able to get my eyes. I'm not going to be able to get So I'm just going to leave it something like this. Depends on um, whatever you want to achieve. So I'm going to put it here. So I'm like 3D. Um, something like this. And zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So I know when it snaps. Alright, so it's snapping now. Uh, align this horizontally. Okay, so. Um, Vertical alignment. Um, so I can select everything now. I can select everything and then just put auto layout. So you select everything just to auto layout. So it auto layouts it. I can shift this here and say uh, space in between. I can put it as auto. Yeah. So it aligns for me just like this. So um, my tool. Let's read this that button. So uh, let me just highlight smart. I can just highlight smart. That's not for this. I want for this. And at the same time, I can just make say a white circle or any element I want. White circle. Which one? Any element I want to so like this. Yeah, so I'm just going to make this. Um, just don't bother about this, but then um, for me, I'm just going to make this yeah, actual position. So I'm just going to put this on the here and set to back. It's white. Okay. So some of these, so I have these very move. So this one and um, it actually look clean, but then I can actually put a lot of background here. I can put this stuff. Sorry, I can put this stuff put it in the background. Um, say something like that. Oh, let me just remove the objective first. So I can bring this inside somewhere here, maybe anywhere, and bring it inside this room. Bring it inside this room. It is fine. Okay, keep content. It is not just like this. So I can easily just change the field to something like that. Then okay. change the opacity. So I can just slant it. Because I just want it to be plain. So I can just slant it, make it bigger. Press K and scale. I don't want it to be plain. So I just. So just different ways just to make your work maybe different from somebody else's own. You have to very think maybe smart about it. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to reduce the past this to you. So it doesn't really show. Yeah, something like this nice. So it's not really distracting, but then it's not really clean. Not really clean, not really distracting. So something like this. I'm just going to I'm going to make it my content. And I think past it. 
something like this can happen there. Now, if you want to add more things, you can add more things. If you feel there's too much space here, you can actually maybe change it. Now, I can change it depending on you. Alright, so depending on what you want, what you want to do, what you are looking to get. So, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Then you do your full time. So, I'm not really going to spend time doing full time. Delete. Go and grab your stuff from the top. Let's make my footer say original color. So I'm gonna yeah, so I'm gonna make this one for my logo. So depends on what I want to do. Then for today I'll change the I change the direction. So by this uh, horizontal I can change it to vertical. So you just arrange it itself like this. So I can do something like this. So we get the um, we get the make it all white. And if I say why white is too much, I can make it um so it depends on what I want. I can line top everything. Yeah, so I'm line top. I feel this weird, so I'm just going to just add it to stand up like this. So it's just this. Alright, so there's, there are two tools here yeah, scale and move. What scale does is if I click on move and I, I, I scale this, I, I try to move this, if I press shift, this is what happens. This is what happens. But if I quick, click on scale and I click on this, this is what happens. It makes it bigger. It just kills everything there. So let me give another example. Something like this. Let's create the text. So if you write the text here, I'm going to write the text represent. Bring out this text. So if I'm using if I'm using move this to this normal to this one move, if I press shift down and scale, nothing happens. So it's just changing the width majorly and the height, but nothing's happening to the text. So now if we go back to how the text was before and I press K, which is scale. Create K scale here and I do this. What happens is I'm um, still the scale uh still the space thing. I can easily scale and this the fonts I just change here. So that's one thing you should do. Alright, so um now this is my landing page. Oh, well essentially this is how I, I mostly design landing pages, so I'll just do down and I remove all the Please now. Yeah. So this is it. Then I just select everything and do auto layout again. So uh, I can change this one to F8 if I can't color. Just to change, just to make people know that they are in a different page section or a different um, screen building. So you can find something. Yeah, so why not? So but then uh, I just know that your design always has to be different. But that, that's essentially what you design. And if you want to maybe add features or this and the size feature or something like that, you could actually just have maybe like a page like this and say something like that. So I'm just going to stay reduce this. Change this to something like 24. Just going to reduce this to 30 by center. I'm going to change it. So if I want it to be on the 200, I'm going to So I can left align it. Left align, left align, something like this. Left align. Yeah, then um, since everything is on the layout, I can put maybe 16. So you can't really know what's going on until you put the stroke. So the stroke will let you know what's going on. So this was at 0 before. So we added a stroke now. Now I'll just put a space around this. I just put space and say um, 16. 
said, he put 16 on the hand, he left 16 on the hand, he went inside to 16, and 16. Then I can just put on top to say 16, so 16 on the top, so you can have a card. So you just can't have a card, it's just a card, it's not here, it's my conversation. Maybe you can put down my phone, maybe all these people's picture and icons and everything. I don't have any of these, so just go and switch to stay. Excuse me. I was going to say you create the let's create it. I'm going to create that. So something like this. So I'll change the color. I'm just going to make this one to say green. This one will be green and this one will be the same. Yeah, so just be creative whatever you're making. Then I can select everything and put them inside the frame. Control G. Then scale my frame. See, it's not scaling very well like this because I'm using a pressing shift that I'm just scaling to the normal move to. But if I press. But press scale, my scale scales perfectly, just the way I want. So my scale, my frame is scaling well. Now I can put my scale into this place. Now I can put, I want to put a frame around, I want to put a, uh, uh, I say a space around my scale and everything. This thing is on, on auto layout. Uh, is on free, is a frame. But if I click on the layout directly, it's going to change the way it is, and I don't want to change, so I'm going to remove the composite. I'm just going to put this first one to change it for this, then I need to change it to the layout. Uh, shift A, rather. So it gives the control layout. Now, what I want to do that is because I want to put this space on it. So now I can put 16. I can put uh, 16. So if you don't understand that, what I just did is I don't bring it back. Okay, so this is what we have, and I want to make something nicer than this, and this is the if I click on the layout, it will change the way it is, so I don't want to say it, because I don't want it to change, I make it a good first configuration, makes it a good, then I put on the layout on top of that, so you can put your layout here, you can use some push here, anyway. so now it's coming on the layout, then I can make it 16, okay, also 16, all right, so uh, 16, 16, then I can change. You see now, you can see that there's space around it. So if I put a stroke, you can see the space. Uh, and I'll put the stroke. So if this was on zero, like it was before, try to put it zero, zero, see? Now, it doesn't really look nice, so I'm on space. So I'm just going to put 16, and I'm going to put 16. 16, so I'm going to put 16. Right? So for this thing as the final update, I'm going to just stand on it. So after us, That what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to change the color of the background. So I'm going to change the shape color to something light. So this is light, or uh, it's almost contrasting with this. So I want something like that. I just take this to the uh, This is nice. I move this to make the corners rounded. Make the corners rounded. So it gives me this. Um, I can put this on the desk so I can put it, I can say it to the center. Now it puts it on the center. Um, so I want this to be the, the container. Oh, nice. So 
to it. We have the creative freedom. So, um, essentially, we have just created our, say, landing page. So, do our landing page now. Do our landing page. So. And uh, funniest thing, you can actually just bring this one in and just say, hey, come here. Uh, the one on top, bring it out. Then maybe change the background of this one to something like F8. Or change it to the light. So you can have the creative picture of the colors to right where we want it to. Very nice. Alright, so um, God is going to try to create a. Uh, just going to try to create a dashboard. So what I normally do is have a frame. So you have a frame, say, it's a frame. Yeah. So um, basically, what I do is say change this to 800. And um, I create a frame. So I link the size of my frame, something like two something, maybe two forty. Alright, so um, you can put it put it here, so you know uh, what's there. So then, what I do next is um, create another frame, this one, duplicate it, and bring it here. Then you can do this. We just have two sections. And this. And so it's then. Well, let me make it up so you can see which end last time for you. Alright, so, um, okay, so I can just, you can uh, say, Lock it so it doesn't move around. So you can move it around. If it's not locked, you can still be moving around. So you lock it. Uh, this one, so you lock it. Then you can start creating everything you want to create inside. So um, I still have my logo. Control C. I copy my logo. Come here to paste the logo. Alright. So. Uh, since this is locked, I may not be able to select it anymore, so I'm just going to do Ctrl V. It's going to paste this code for me here. So I will open this so I can put this inside. Alright, so I'll put it inside. Um, this is my logo. And I scale the logo. Okay, scale my logo. Yeah, so this is nice. 24, 17 on top, make it 16. Alright, so then this one you can give it its own um, layout grid. Say create a layout grid for its color. So uh, it's very small, so I'm just going to make it two. Then I've uh, got uh, it's going to be 16. Then the margin is going to be text two. Alright, so I'm going to make it click this screen. So what I do now is get my icons. Alright, so I don't know if this are still loaded. Yeah, actually it has loaded. So just get my icons. So depending on let me just really quickly grab any icon I can get here. So I'm just going to get my icons say So let me just get this dashboard looking icon. So the size 28, I'm going to choose 24, copy it, go to my file, say, yeah, just going to drop it here. So drop it here, put the text beside it. I'm going to use 16 here, yeah, regular. So I'm just going to say dashboard. Dashboard. Um, I'm going to auto width. 
uh, at the layout to it. Put the space in between them to be 16. And now um, put it here. Duplicate it. Just something like um, community. Community. So I'm just going to look for people icon here. So since um because this is a compo, this is um a component bring I'm bringing it from this um say design system of icons uh, because I'm using it here I can easily just click on this place and uh, search for any other icon that has been made a component there so I'm just going to search for community so it's free with people community people community and so whichever one if if I if they have it I'm going to find it then I'm going to pick it it's automatically going to change it yeah, so let's change community. Then I'm going to say Ctrl T. So I want the next one to be report. I just change my text, report, and change this icon here to something like that. All right, so I'm just going to change it to report. So they, they don't have report, but I can think of any synonym for report. So I'm just going to pick something like um, something like can uh, say chat. So there's chat, there's Gantt chat, and uh, say something like a bar chat. I'm going to use bar. So there's barcode scanner, there's points plus bar, different bars. So nothing is bringing out maybe something that looks like a report. So I'm just going to look for say, um, pie. So you have pie here. So, so I'm just going to run it say, So I'm just going to find it there. Go back and get this and find out. Port. Well, I really don't know what a lot of them are called, so that's why I'm going to start looking for a moment. But if I really know what it is called, uh, I just have to search for it there, it's going to bring it up and I'm just going to uh, click on enter and it's going to change. So I really don't know what it's called, but then I know they have this kind of, um, a lot of, um, lot of icons for something that looks like uh, reports, like pie chart, bar chart, I'm just going to try and find it.
So, so the same report is exactly equal for the report of the case. That's how different type commands, different icons, and it's just something like um, yeah. So, if that's all our icons, then I'll just do select everything like this. Um, so, I want all of them to have a frame, and I want to have, let's say, selector. Let me change this background to white. So you can see, then I can, I can add this my column. So what I just want to do is I want to add this, everything like this. See, they are not of equal length, so I'm just going to do, um, going to create an auto layout frame, say, so it's an auto layout now. Then I'm going to select everything inside, then put it on fill container. So they all fill the container. Um, then I can put it on fixed width. So it doesn't change anymore. Uh, so all of them has they have the, the same width now. So I select everything again. Then I put uh, the space in the front of it. I put it as a eight. Yeah. <laughs> then I put um sixteen. So it's big, um, but then now uh, it's that's changed because of its own. Um, fixed width. So what I just do is, I feel it's too much on top, so I'm going to put up this. Yeah, so this is nice. I stretch this for somewhere here. And why I'm doing that is because uh, if I change the color of this now to so something like this, so it shows that this is one less selected. I wouldn't have to really change that again. So um, what I can then do again is that I can now easily say. For this one, if I want to change the length, I can, I can always change it, put it forward, something like this. Okay, then um, something like that. Then the space that is left here, I can use it to create a rectangle that will facilitate it. Just a rectangle. Something to show that, okay, that's where it's a rectangle. Yeah. So I change this color, set it to something like that, green that we were using the other time. Say so this is the uh, third one. Then change this one to be that one. Yeah. And I'm going to change it here to um I'm going to change it here to eight and this is which one? This is on the right, this one. Okay, so this one to eight. So it calls there. So it calls then but I don't know this thing can I can so I'm just to keep what change about zero. This is zero zero. Yeah, so this looks the first one. Then um the text inside I make them green. This thing green. Green then this thing green. So this one I change the color to see what you find. But I know what photo one looks like now. Name. 
Portrait, click on portrait. So I get portrait of anybody. So this is pre. Let's say this is pre. And say so put it there automatically. Alright, so it's not loading because it's network. Inside, 
So it is a rectangle. So I just bring it about the rectangle. So it's like um that's the that's the way to show how it's supposed to be like. And then um what I then do is I can easily come and say what I want to create uh, is for what maybe a block management, whatever, whatever. I'm just going to create cards. So there are different ways to achieve this, just check um triple initially. So then you create cards and say um project incoming. Project something like this. Um, change this to something like that. Forty, say, um, seventy. Um, Alright, so seventy. I'm going to make it for the layouts. Then put space around it. So I'm going to make the space on the left and right side. I want sixteen. Uh, 16 may be too small, so I want 16 but I can Yeah, 16 is fine, but I just would stretch the uh, right side. Then space in between them, I want 16. Then space on top of them, I want 6. So when I put a stroke around it, this is what I have. I want it to be longer, so I do something like this. And I bring it here. So um, you can have different ways uh, with your, say, dashboard. I could actually have this, maybe two of these. Um, or maybe have four bits like this. All right, let me just quickly start with this one. Um, let me check. So there's this hundred abstract shapes I have here. I can just come and select each any one of them. But you don't have to really do any of these. Just I just want to put like a star to what I'm doing. So I think I want. Uh, 
Alright, so now the is already and it looks nice. Yeah, not too much stuff. The comment to get this level T. Um I'm going to remove the auto layout. Say remove it here. So what I've copyrighted, I'm going to paste it here, control V. Uh, it has a background, I don't want the background, so I remove the background. I just want this cone alone. So then I can easily just twist the cone, bring it inside this place. So it's head inside. Uh, say, yeah, it's head inside. So I will click the content on the frame, so whatever is outside is outside. Okay, so, yeah. so I have this here. Then I change the color. Uh, most of the colors are linear, so I just this is the color here. I make it maybe something like this, something like this. And this one, making something like um, this. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So then this one, make it something like that. This. 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 So anyhow you want it, just make your, um, maybe your design look cool. However we want, that way you want to have it. Maybe on this side, on this right side, and I think that something like this, very like a control set. I think it's running away. Right, so I have something like this. Um, I have this premium now. So let me just make it if you um, select and call it here. See. I don't have this name for this one to use it to uh, show something. So if I have this and I want to show maybe like um, a circular or whatever, let me use like this. I want to show maybe uh, progress, how many people have done this stuff. So I can just drag this arc, bring it in like this, it shows this. So the one that is in the center, I drag it in, so it shows something like this. So then I can now duplicate this, Ctrl D. Now I have duplicated it, then the one below it, I'm going to close it. I'm going to close the one below it. Then make it maybe again, like that here. So I'm making something like this. Yeah, so then this one, I make it a main green. So that's how they achieve that stuff where you have uh, maybe something like that. Um, something like this. And this one is, let's say, I just do yeah, so this like this, then you see this one is coming in. So you see with some flying. Then if you run the corners to you have some like this. Then they tell you, oh, 100 percent 200 percent whatever, whatever. Say and uh I'm gonna now. Say this is almost nine and something. So you see sixty-eight percent. Alright, so Scale that up. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, perfect. Alright, so. Yeah, so then put um, I can put these and stay in some light. So I'll put some text on the side. Maybe let me just drag this here. Uh, this is a. I'm doing this this way so that um, if anybody should copy this, I would really know that okay, uh, this is the design they copied. So you can have this like this. Um, Alright, so I don't want to be this big. I can just press K and scale this without having to do too much. Uh, just put it this way, put this dummy text. This is dummy text, I'll put it somewhere here. 
Just to create, uh, say, tables. Um, if you have a table somewhere that you've created, then you can actually just put your table here. So I don't want to show a table. Mm. I create a general uh, materials for all of them. Say this one should be fit now. Fit to it. If I style it, I want them to be styled. Say a uh, few container. A uh, few container. I want this to say. I'm not going to put this here. Hmm, left hand. Alright, so I'm planning this. Alright, so I said I wanted this place to be 40. This is not 40, so I'm going to just adjust it. Alright, so I didn't use grid for this right part, but then uh, I normally it's supposed to use grid. So, Say, um, whatever, whatever, name, name, project time, project time, project time, timeline, Select everything on top. I'm going to change the view. Um, okay, so I'm going to change this to white. Alright, so I'm going to remove the stroke of everything now. All these ones. 
I started and said everything. Alright, so the ones that are white, I'm going to change them to maybe F5, so you can see them. What? Okay, F5 is the background. Sorry. I'm just going to change it to F8 then. So you can see. Okay, it's not really showing still. Alright, what I'm just going to do is F0. This is my dashboard. So this could be a dashboard. This could be your dashboard. Um, dashboard for you can actually create a dashboard in different different ways. So just a simple dashboard to actually show some things. So it depends on you what you want to achieve. So I think this basically provides everything. All right. So uh, that's the landing page. Landing page and the dashboard. 